after breaking her affordability promises and driving up property taxes and a whole bunch of other taxes and fees. With health and education funding far below the rate of population and inflation growth, it is clear this budget doesn't set up Alberta for the sustainable and prosperous growth that everyone wants to see. What we know about uh, our public education is that not only are they underfunding it and not keeping up with population and inflation growth, they are disproportionately funding uh, private schools. And so our public system is actually getting even less. And I would say that this is happening because the UCP, quite frankly, uh, doesn't respect the value of a public education system and its uh, role in ensuring equity and equality for all students, no matter where they come from and, and what circumstances their family are in. Public education is so important for building that kind of equal opportunity, but that's not something that is fundamental to UCP values. So instead, they're putting more money into private schools that that uh, where people have to pay tuition um, and, and they're not ensuring uh, the greatest accessibility in our public schools. The same thing goes for uh, our public or public health care. As I outlined, uh, not only are they not keeping up with inflation and population, they are continuously wasting money on ideological privatization schemes that don't work uh, because that's what they believe in and in the meantime, our public system struggles. And I would say that uh, that goes against the values of Albertans. Albertans want good, strong public health care for them and their loved ones when they need it. And this UCP government is embarking on uh, their uh, fifth or sixth consecutive year of failing to meet those objectives.